our students uh, and our alumni are our finest ambassadors for Columbia Nursing. And as Columbia Nursing continues to attract tr truly exceptional individuals, so this year we received a record number of applicants uh, to our entry into practice program. Uh, very difficult to make decisions uh, among so many stellar applicants. Um, and we accepted the largest number, our largest class um, yet. Um, a, a, idea that our faculty weren't um, wholly excited about because it, <laughs> because it means many of them, many more of them in classes and many more clinical placements to find, but um, they're, they're stellar. They're all uh, ex exceptional. Um, they also distinguish themselves this class by um, being academically the strongest ever. Their uh, record um, GRE scores and grade point averages are the, are the highest we've, we've seen. Um, a number of our new students have already earned master's degrees in such areas of public health and business, um, microbiology, and, and many, many of the other arts and sciences. Uh, and many have come to us with an impressive resume, as, as you've seen uh, on the screen, um, of uh, a great deal of community service, both in healthcare and, and globally, and just have been involved in so many very exciting things before they made a deliberate choice uh, to be a nurse. It's very impressive. So um, we also are very excited about how diverse our incoming class uh, of post-baccalaureate students is, um, and certainly a testament to the very hard work of our faculty and staff uh, in terms of recruiting new students. We expect uh, that of, our, of those that will, uh, will come to us, uh, about 42% of that class is diverse from un underrepresented um, communities. So, uh, we are all very proud of that uh, because they'll better represent the population that we, we serve. So that's really great. In addition to cultivating programs that help increase self-awareness and cultural competency among our faculty, staff, and students, uh, we have also partnered with a number of community organizations to develop pipeline projects um, that introduce secondary school students uh, from underrepresented groups to the field of nursing. So that is, we're really betting on the idea that if we get to them early uh, and show them what nursing can be and can do when they're in secondary school, um, that eventually perhaps they'll come, they'll come to us. Or if they don't come to us, they may go someplace else to be, to be nurses. Um, so these dedicated uh, and enthusiastic students uh, require an equally energetic and dedicated uh, learning environment. Uh, recently, uh, we welcomed Dr. Donna Sill. Um, Donna, are you in, the, you in the room? There she is, Donna. Uh, Donna, who is uh, our new assistant dean for student affairs. She's also um, an alum, uh, 2000 graduate of our family nurse practitioner program. Uh, she oversees a, a very much enhanced program of activities and services in support of our students uh, and, and student life. Um, she is also leading our, our new program on continuing nursing education. Uh, Donna has already uh, had uh, an incredible amount of programming, both for students, but also for, for our faculty and staff. Our students are out and about. Um, uh, they recently went to Albany to have a hand in advocacy work. She's uh, got them involved also in a trip to Cuba, different than the one I'm going on, uh, but for, really for students. Just, just marvelous things that, um, that are going on. We have also taken new steps to ensure that our doctoral students uh, and faculty are well supported in all phases of their research careers. Our Reach for Research Excellent, fondly known as REX program, provides opportunities for students and for faculty to excel at grant writing, the preparation of manuscripts for publication um, in top tier journals, uh, and presentation skills. All of these activities increase the opportunities for success in securing research funding and success in publication. Um, a little known fact, certainly known to us, but not so much uh, to those outside the research enterprise, is that currently the, the federal government, National Institutes of Health, I know one of our alums in the audience today is, is with NIH, uh, for the National Institutes of Nursing Research, where is one of the prime areas that scholars obtain funding for their research, um, is only funding about eight, eight to ten percent of of um, proposals. Um, so when you imagine yourself in a career 
where your future depends on that kind of a uh, ratio, every bit of help that you can get to write the best grant you can, to have the best publications uh, you can, and to have the best presentation skills is extremely important. Um, and so I'm very grateful to our team in our, the Research and Scholarship Division uh, for what they've, what they've brought um, to Columbia Nursing. Um, so also, we have an exciting new curriculum. I know you've heard a little bit about that last year. Curriculum change takes a long time. For those of you that are in academic positions, you know how painful that can be sometimes. But our exciting new curriculum is really almost ready to begin. I introduced this um, last year. We're preparing for a launch in uh, 2016. Uh, we have created an innovative program of study um, that will be a trendsetter, we think, in the field. The backbone of our curriculum is a master's program, uh, which will, after completing our master's program, um, the student is ready to be licensed as an RN. Our graduates will then enter either a doctor of nursing practice or a PH, our PhD program for a research career or an advanced practice career. So rather than entering as a post-baccalaureate for a second bachelor's degree, they'll enter as a post-baccalaureate for a master's degree. Uh, throughout our 123-year history, we have emphasized the principles and values of nursing while preparing successive generation of nurses for changing realities of the environment within which we practice. This is uh, as true today as at any point of our history, certainly true for you as well when you graduated. People are living longer, and they're living longer with multiple chronic conditions, and that requires care over a lifetime in settings across all care environments from very high-tech hospital environments uh, to home and beyond. Uh, that's a special kind of skill uh, and a special kind of expertise. Uh, and assisting individuals and their families to make these transitions safely from care environment to care environment over a lifetime uh, is um, and assuring that high quality and safety occur at the same time requires expert care coordination uh, and care management uh, by expert clinicians. And that is the role our master's degree is geared toward. So we've changed the curriculum so that it fits with what our care partners uh, need and want, uh, and those graduates will be, uh, we feel, um, very much in tune with the current healthcare environment. So we're very excited about that, and that will start uh, with the next enrollment in 2016. Because our students leave Columbia to practice in a technologically complex and highly acute healthcare environment, we have introduced advanced education in such areas as bioinformatics, healthcare policy, uh, and expanded our offerings in research methodology. I am very proud of how well we have done in securing research funding grants uh, in that intensely uh, competitive environment. Uh, our ranking across all schools of nursing in the US uh, for funding from the National Institutes of Health, despite that low ratio of receiving a grant, we're 17th. Uh, out of all schools of nursing who receive uh, grants from NINR. Uh, so we are a small research group here, uh, and to rank 17th, uh, I'm incredibly proud of our, of our faculty to, to achieve that. That's higher than it was last year. Uh, so despite the funding environment, we continue to, to get better. I'm very proud of that. Our school is also among the 10% of doctoral programs nationwide who receive federal training grants to support pre and post doctoral scholars. Our faculty and students continue to achieve national and international recognition for their research, their exemplary teaching. Uh, three of our faculty were inducted into the American Academy of Nursing this last year. Uh, we are enormously proud of Dr. Elaine Larson. Uh, I don't think she's re-entered the room, um, who was awarded the John Steers Medal for Distinguished Contributions in Clinical Practice, it's a long title, uh, by the New York Academy of Medicine. Elaine is the first nurse to ever be awarded that honor. It's just great. Uh, we received redesignation as a World Health Organization Collaborating Center for Advanced Practice Nursing under the leadership of, of Dr. Elaine Larson and Dr. Jennifer Dorn. Our Office of Global Initiatives has built relationships around the world, including academic uh, nursing institutions in Africa, Asia, 
Latin America, the Caribbean, and the Middle East. As an awardee of the President's, uh, President of Columbia University's Global Initiative Fund, uh, we are expanding the capacity of nurses and midwives uh, across the globe to prioritize and conduct clinical research, uh, particularly in Southern and Eastern Africa. In the Dominican Republic, our students and faculty continue a long-standing relationship to provide care uh, in a clinic that primarily serves HIV AIDS uh, patients, primarily adults and children. Uh, and uh, we've recently uh, uh, have an agreement uh, to place students for clinical rotation at the University of Navarra in, uh, in Spain. They're, uh, they're, our first group is going uh, this summer and their group uh, is, uh, is here now. No, no, we're there now. They're coming in the summer, right. Um, so uh, these and other activities, uh, clearly Columbia Nursing is deepening our commitment uh, to address population health needs and inequalities on a global, global uh, scale. We are just completing the fifth year of our strategic plan and have begun work on the next five-year strategic plan. I have shared our progress with you uh, each year uh, when, I, when I talk with you about the state of the school. Those goals, uh, we have excelled at our goals um, and s that we set five years ago, and uh, those that we uh, will uh, continue on with the next uh, five years. We have all kinds of new, uh, interesting ideas. Um, our, overall, our overall goal, however, always remains the same. That's enhancing our capacity for preparing expert nurse clinicians and nurse researchers. So the launch of a new strategic plan also marks the completion of my fifth year as your dean. Those years have passed incredibly quickly and I, I now understand this term, a New York minute. <laughs> I feel like I just got here in five years, goodness. Think of what, think of what we have accomplished together. So we have expanded and enhanced our academic programs. We have realized strong and influential research initiatives. We have developed new partnerships with nurse educators across the globe. Uh, we have developed, uh, oh, we've launched a new $25 million capital campaign to create a learning environment equal to our vision for Columbia Nursing's future. You can feel the energy and excitement in our classrooms, hallways, conference rooms, as small as they may be, and offices. And you're gonna get some of that this afternoon when you take your tour and spend a little time in our space. We're not the only ones who have noticed. This year, our school rose in the new US News and World Reports from 21st out of all of the schools of nursing in the US to 11, so that's a 10-point increase. Yeah. And you know, while we, while we view these rankings with, with caution and care, um, uh, we are nevertheless pleased to be recognized by our academic and research, for our academic and research excellence by our peers, because these are peer, peer rankings. All the other schools of nursing, we, we rank uh, and evaluate each other. So um, we are very proud of that. And as I move into my sixth year, um, I am eyeing that number one slot. <laughs> so, today is a day of looking back with pride at our school and its uh, contributions to the profession, but it's also a day to look forward in anticipation of the best that's yet to come. A very big item on our agenda, of course, is our new building uh, and all of the uh, wonderful new programming uh, for our students and our faculty and our staff that will enab be enabled within that space. Uh, yesterday, our um, board of visitors uh, took a tour of what we call the big hole, because <laughs> right now it's a big hole. Uh, you will get a chance to see that same big hole, but just think of it when you look at it. It's like the, you're looking at the parking garage, so you just have to imagine uh, what it will look like next year when you come back, because um, we're hoping that will open, uh, quite certain. It's no longer uh, all hope, now there's some certainty to it, uh, in um, spring of 2017. So that will be a big celebration because uh, you'll be there uh, instead of here. So that's, we're really looking forward to that. 
Um, so please join the, the uh, little walk to see the, to see the building site. If you don't know where the school is going up, it's just a couple blocks from here and you'll get to see the neighborhood that it's in and, uh, and the progress. Uh, oh, also there's a model at the back of the room, uh, what the building is gonna look like. So take a look at that. So um, as you know, we are in capital campaign mode uh, and we're seeking support for our, for our building uh, and also our student scholarships and, and a great deal of new academic programming. Uh, we're over halfway there uh, with our goal, uh, with the generous support of many of our alums and friends um, and foundation partners. Uh, I'm pleased to report two important new commitments um, to support our, our building. The first uh, is a generous pledge from Mary Dickey Lindsay, uh, the class of fifth, uh, 45, and her family. Mary, are you here yet? Is she About here yet? About to arrive. About to arrive. Well, when she arrives, uh, tell her thank you. Uh, I know you all know uh, Mary. Uh, uh, most of you have known her. Um, uh, the family uh, made a million dollar commitment uh, in connection with um, the second floor, which is one of our big simulation labs, um, uh, which will be named for both Mary Lindsay and her daughter, uh, Louise Lindsay Reed, class of 74. I know many of you know, knew Louise. Um, so that's a, that's a great honor both for us uh, and, a, and a huge commitment on the part of the Lindsay family. Um, Mary has been an inspiration, I know, to many of our students. She has served as one of our uh, greatest ambassadors uh, over the years and certainly was one of the first uh, alums that I met when I came here, and she, is, she has continued to be very, very dear to me. The second uh, generous pledge I want to let you know about, because this one has really uh, hit, the, um, hit the media, is the Helene Full Trust, Health Trust. Uh, has pledged $6.5 million uh, to, to us. Uh, this represents the largest single commitment ever for the School of Nursing. Uh, it will do several things for us. One, it will really build, yes. It will uh, go a significant way to helping us build that simulation center, which is two floors of our new building, highly tech, a lot of technology, uh, with operating rooms and emergency departments and delivery space and psych mental health briefing rooms and skill labs. I mean, it'll just be lovely. Um, and uh, this, this grant really will help us, help us get there. It's also going to do two other things, which I think are, are wonderful. Um, it will continue uh, scholarships for our students, which is very important to us. Uh, they currently fund uh, scholarships for us, so this will increase the amount of their scholarship funding, and it will also um, uh, underwrite a new Institute for Excellence in Simulation uh, that Columbia Nursing will, uh, will develop uh, and provide. And this is an opportunity to share the best of simulation um, technology and teaching uh, worldwide. So we're, we're very excited about that and very pleased um, uh, for the vision of the, of the trust to help us, help us do that. So uh, I want to close with that fabulous news, um, uh, but also let me uh, um, express again uh, what a privilege it is to serve as the dean of this outstanding uh, School of Nursing. There is just no greater pleasure than being part of an institution whose mission is a commitment to prepare expert clinicians and, and expert scientists who will improve the lives of our fellow hu human beings. So Columbia Nursing ha has a commitment to excellence that sets us apart. Uh, it's got a 123-year history, uh, that, and we're going to continue to do that. Uh, that is our pledge to you, our alum. So thank you for being here today. Uh, we're honored to have you. Have a great day.